Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with us. One big beautiful family. By hitting that subscription button, it's free for everyone. No one's charging you for anything. So it's just a way to help us creators to continue on with these tutorials. And please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. Um, most of the time I use a 2.75 hook or three or 3.5, depending on the project that I'm working on and how big I want it to go. If you have a tight tension, use a two size hook bigger than you normal. So your patterns don't curve. If you're uh, too loose, then go a size or two smaller on your hook. So it doesn't become too floppy and messy. I also would like to mention I do have a private crochet group. If you're interested to join, you're more than welcome as long as you have a profile. I also have Instagram and TikTok. If you're stuck in, in projects and you need help, you can always message me through there. It's much faster for me to answer you or show me the, your product, uh, what's going on or, or where you're going wrong, uh, wrong on it. You can take a picture and send it me through there because YouTube does not accept that. Most of you share already know that. Um, I also have a Facebook group, uh, page, I should say, you can follow me through there. Also, I want to thank again from the bottom of my heart to all of you that have been helping women in need of thread. And for some of you that are considering, please do so. You could either donate through, uh, below the video. There's a little bag that says, thank you. You can drop in there, whatever amount you'd like it. You know, we don't have a specific, uh, order of an amount that you have to donate. You can do whatever you'd like. Anything counts and it helps. And I thank you so much. Okay. So we're going to get started and please, if you can share the video, uh, sharing is caring. It helps tremendously to have more people recognize the channel and become part of this wonderful family. Thank you, everyone. Let's get started. Okay, everyone. So lately I've been getting uh, quite a bit of comments on a pattern that I created quite some time ago, pineapple, which I'll put the picture up here. For some of you that follow me should already know. Most of you have created Um that pattern because you've left me comments that you really enjoyed but others of you are having a hard time figuring out the stitch now a lot of times I say turn your closed caption on you can read what I'm saying and pause or you know uh, uh, take notes of course or go to the in uh, below the uh, video in the description box there's a two minute video that shows you how to slow down the video um, you can look at it and it helps you tremendously by slowing down the video, by turning the closed caption on. These things are extremely important, uh, especially for some of you that are a little bit more uh, slow paced, which is normal. Not everybody is speedy Gonzalez like myself, you know, and uh, sometimes I hate myself for it. But it's just been so many years of crocheting that I'm, I'm just in my bubble and I crochet fast and I know that. And I apologize for that, that for those reasons, I tell you to slow down the video and also tell you to turn your closed caption on. So I'm going to recreate the same pattern. Hopefully I will get off my little bubble mind and go a little bit more slower for some of you that have a slower paste. Okay. So just for the purpose of the, um, uh, repeat uh, pattern. I'm going to use this light pink because the pink helps out also uh, seeing the stitch better instead of, you know, doing uh, darker colors. I don't want to go into the white because I did white already and I don't want to have two pictures of the same pattern up. So I'll use the pink. I'll be using a 2.5, a 2.75 hook. This is th uh, four ply similar to Aunt Lydia number three. Aunt Lydia number three is a little bit thicker. So your pattern becomes a little bit bigger. Okay. You'll need a small one for tucking in loose ends and of course a pair of scissors. Okay. Let's get started everyone. Okay, so I'm going to do the magic circle. If you cannot do it, then you can do a five chain depending upon your tension. I don't know how your tension is, if it's loose or tight. You can do a five chain if you're loose. You, If you're tight, you can do a six chain. And if you can do a magic circle, well, it works perfect. So I'm going to do one chain. I'm going to come back in and I'm going to do a single 
This is how I start my double crochet, single and two chain. That's my first double crochet. This is row one. I'm going to complete inside of this magic circle 16 more double crochets. That's including my single and two chains that count as one double crochet already. So I have four. I'll meet you at the end of my 16 double crochet. I've done my 16 double crochet. I'm going to pull onto that string and close it. I'm coming in my second chain. I started with a single and two chain for my first double crochet. So on my last chain here, which is the second chain up from the single, I'm going to close it with a slip stitch. I'm going to come back in the same stitch and do a single and two chain. That's my first double crochet. Remember I said I usually start my double crochet this way. One chain for space. Coming into the next uh, double crochet, next stitch, double crochet. So I'm going to have a total again of 16 double crochet. Only this time I'm going to have a chain space between them. And I managed to tangle up my my thread here. This is not where I want to hide my thread at all. So I will have to come down here and pull it. While I'm at it, for some of you that are just learning how to hide it, just go in through the loops back here. That's why you need a small hook. You don't want to put a big hook through these loops. It's going to leave a big space in between them. So take a smaller hook and just pass your thread right in it and then cut the access off and then just fix it a bit and you're good to go. My scissors getting dead. Poor thing. Okay, so one chain space into the next double crochet. One chain into the next double crochet. So we'll have a total of 16 with one chain space in between them. So I'm just closing up row two. One chain. Remember, my first double crochet is a single and two chains. So I'm going to come in the second one and I'm going to close it in with slip stitch. I'm going to come back in the same stitch and do a single chain two. That's my first double crochet. Two more chain for space. One, two. Okay, so I have single, one, two, three, four chain. Coming into the next double crochet, double crochet, two chain space into the next one. So we're having the same repeat row, 16 double crochets differences. We're having two chain space between them. This is row three. I'll meet you at the end. So we finished row three. I'm going into row four. Coming into the center of my two chain space with a single and two chain. This is my first um, double crochet, but this time we're going to be doing triple, so I'm going to do one more. So single and three chains equals my triple. I'm going to do a, a turn twice on your hook, so you'll have three um, loops on your hook. I'm coming into the next one, into the next space, and I'm going to close it up together. One, two, three chain. Again, I'm coming into the same space. Take out once, that means two loop at a time, and two loops again. Incomplete. I'm not closing it. I'm coming into the next space. Take out two loops. Take out two loops. And now we're going to take out the last three loops to close it together. So I'm creating these little V's here, as you can see. Okay. And again, we're going to do one, two, three chain, coming into the same one, take out two loops, take out two loops. 
and complete. We don't close the last one. We're coming into the next space. Take out two loops, take out two loops. Now we're going to close it together. Okay. So you're always going to have like these V's. And here you know that there's no chain. You always have to have two of them with no chain space and then three chain. No chain space and then three chain. One, two, three chain. Come back into the same one. Take out two loops. And again, don't close it. This is the V inside of that center there. And come again. Remember I said you'll have one that has three chain, the next one, there's no space in between them. Okay, so we're going to do this all the way around the same way. One more time. One, two, three chain. Come into the same one. Take out two. Take out two. And leave the other one in your hook. Come into the next one. Take out two. Take out two. And the last three loops. Okay. So I'll meet you at the end. So we're almost reaching the end here. One, two, three chain. Come back into the same one to create your last V in here. Right? These are all little V's. And I'm going to come into the next one, even though we have this one, but there's always two triples in the same space here. So we started with one. We need to close that off and close it together. Of course, we need to do those three chains to complete this round. So I have my three chains, and I'm going to close it right on the center here because there is no chain space on these two, remember? Okay, so one two three four if you need to slow down the video go ahead if you need to rewind go ahead we're going to come inside of the space here now single two chain this is my first double crochet so one two three four going into row five i'm going to create two groups or should i say shell of two double crochet two chain and two more double crochets. So it's two groups of two double crochet and two chain space between them. There is no chain space going into the next one. We're going to create these shells all the way around on this row five. So two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet, all in the same space. No chain space, go directly into the next space. Double crochet, another double crochet, two chain space, and two more double crochet in the same space. So we're creating little shells. I'll meet you at the end. And don't worry, if it's turning a bit like this, don't stress over it as long as it's a bit. I mean, if you put it, if you put it down, I'm sure if you stretch it like this, it's almost going flat. But even though it turns a bit, as we go, it starts to pull onto the pattern and it all comes together at the end. What you don't want is to have it flopping like this. That means that you're missing stitches. Your tension's too tight. You will have to always give one. I call out chain three. You might need to do a chain four. Your tension maybe is too tight. Or like I said, best always to use two size hook bigger than what you're using. So if you're using a two, go into a three, uh, three point five. Uh, if you're using a three, go into a four or even a five. Okay. See how you feel with the hook on your hand and how it's pulling through the tension of your uh, thread. Okay. So I'm coming into the end. And I'm going to close it. I did a single and two chains so on my second chain. That's my first double crochet with a slip stitch. I'm going to walk. I call it the walk with a slip stitch to the center of this two chain. One, two, three, four, five, going into row six. So single, two chain. I'm going to repeat these shells 
on this row uh, two double crochet, two chain, so it's a repeat. The only difference is we're going to have a two chain space in between shells, okay? Everything else is a repeat, two double crochet, two chain space, and two more double crochet on the same stitch. One, two chain, coming into the next shell, create your shell, two double crochet, two chain, and two more double crochet. So we're going to repeat this all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll meet you at the beginning of row seven. Okay, everyone, so I finished row six going into row seven. Row seven will be exactly the same thing. The only difference is we are increasing on chain stitch here in the shell. So I did the walk with the slip stitch into the center, single two chain. That's my first double crochet. Creating again my second double crochet. One, two, three chain this time in the shells. And creating again two more double crochet. Now I'm going to do a two chain space here between shells, but if your tension is too tight, you can do a three chain space. Okay, so one, two, three again, and creating my two double crochets. So we're doing, we're repeating row seven shells but three chain in my shells and I'm keeping it at two but if you need to do three then go ahead I'll meet you at the end okay everyone so we finished row seven going into row eight I'm going to do the walk again coming into the center of my shell this row eight we're going to start the foundation of pineapples so I'm going to do my first normal uh, double crochet so I'm going to create my shell two chain and come back in and do two more double crochet one two chain I'm going to do 12 triples inside of my next one so take out two loops and two loops and the last loop and again take out two loops two loops and the last loop so you're turning twice on your hook take out two loops two loops and the last loop one more time take out two loops two loops and the last loop so we have four triples i need 12. I've done my 12 triples, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, chain 2, and I'm going to repeat my normal shell again. So 2 double crochet, 2 chain, 2 more double crochet. Now, this will be one side, you know, that you have to afterwards complete one side and complete the other when you finish that one side. Again, chain two. I'm going to repeat the 12 on this one here also. Take out two, take out two, and the last two. Turn twice, so you have three loops on your hook. Take out two, take out two, and the last two. And again, we're going to do 12 triple crochets. Okay, so I'll meet you when I'm done. I've done also my 12 triples, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. And it's always good to confirm before you go further because if you don't have the right amount, you will have issues. Chain two. Creating my normal shell of two double crochet, two chain, and two more double crochet in the same stitch. Okay, now this will be one side of the pineapples, and then we'll do exactly the same thing as we did here on here, right? 
we're going to have five shell space in between the next triple that goes on here. So we've already created one. We'll do two, three, four, and five shell space before we do the triple, the 12 triples on this side. So we have one shell built already. Chain two, come in and create your next shell. So this is my second shell. We need five total. And that's going to be exactly the same thing once we finish building these two on this side. We'll have five total uh, shell space between the pineapples here also on this side. Okay. Chain two. Come and create your normal shell. So now we are at three groups of shell. And we need two more. So chain two and create two more shells. Okay, everyone. So I did one, two, three, four, five shells. I'm going to start the foundation again. Repeat the same thing as we did here. 12 triples and then normal shell and then 12 triples again and I already have uh, this one here so obviously we'll end up creating four because we've already started the first shell on that on that side right okay so now we're coming in so you'll have to roll twice on your hook take out two and take out two and create your 12 triples again on this side okay so i'll meet you at the end i've done my 12 triples i'm going to repeat this shell that we did here chain two repeat your shell exactly how we did on the other side two double crochet two chain and two more Double crochet. Now we're going to repeat the second pineapple foundation. So triple, make sure you have three on your hook, three loops, take out two, take out two, and again take out two, take out two, and the last two, and repeat your 12 triples. And of course we'll have one, two, three, four shells to create because we already have one created. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I finished row eight, going into row nine. Where we have the triples on the pineapple, we're going to create triples again. It's going to change a bit here on the shell. So I did the walk into the center. I'm going to create my normal shell here two double crochet, two chain, and two more double crochet. One, two chain. I'm going to do triple over triple with one chain space in between them. So we'll have 12 triples again with one chain space. One chain, and triple okay so I'll meet you at the end here okay everyone so I've created my 12 triples with one chain space we're going to do the normal shell as we've been doing two chain and normal shell two double crochet two chain, whoops, and two more double crochet, two chain, creating again, repeating the shell the same way, uh, not the shell, the triple, one chain space, and create your 12 triples, one chain, Take out two, take out two, and the last two. One chain. And re 
repeat everything again. Okay, so I'll meet you on my 12 triple. So I've created my 12 triples again. Now we're going to do three normal, or should I say, two normal shells. And on my third one, we're going to create three groups of two double crochet, two chain space between them. Okay. And that will be the same thing on the other side. Two chain, coming in, doing my normal shell. So my first two groups of shells here are normal, two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet, two chain. Still doing my normal. This is my second shell. Two double crochet, two chain, and two double crochet. On my third one, it's going to change to chain. I'm creating three groups of two double crochet in the same stitch. So I have my first group, two chain, come back in the same stitch, two double crochet, that's my second group, two chain, and my third group. Two double crochet. So we'll have the same exact thing on this side here on your um, center one, on the third one, which is the middle. Remember, we have five shells. So the third one, from whatever side you want to look at, it's the middle one. Chain two and repeat again your normal shell. The other app that I did this tutorial, I didn't know how to do full screen. It took me almost three years to figure that out, but thank God I did. And so it should be much better uh, video to see the stitches in the pattern. Okay, chain two. We're going to repeat the triples as a, we just done on the other side. One chain space and your triple. So we're doing those 12 triples again with one chain space between them. Exactly how we did here. So we're going to do that. We're going to do our normal shell exactly how we did on this side. And then we're going to do two normal shells and then the three group of the double crochet on the third one. Remembering that we started already with one shell, so that's already counted. We'll do a normal here. And of course the third one is this one. Either you come from this side or you come from the other side. It's the third one in the middle. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've created my three groups. Actually, I did too much. Thank God I looked. So I've created my three groups on the third. So we have one, two shell normal, three groups, and then the other two normal shells. And close it in on your second or third chain, however you start your double crochet. So this will stay in the center. Two shells on this side, two shells, and then three groups here. And I have exactly the same thing on this side. Two shells, three groups, two shells. Okay. So where the normal shells are, it stays the same. We're just going to change up a bit on this one here. So we're going to do the walk into the center. Single, two chain. So I'm creating my normal shell. Two chain. And again, two more double crochet. So that's my normal shell. One, two, three chain. I'm coming in the center between the two triples with single. We're starting the pineapple loops, three chain, 
single, one, two, three chain coming into center, single, one, two, three chain coming into center, single. We're going to do that all the way to the last one. So this is row 10. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten loops of three chain for the pineapple. One, two, three. Create your normal shell, two double crochet, two chain, and two more double crochet. One, two, three chain coming into the other pineapple and start creating your loops again exactly how we did. One, two, three chain into the next space, single, one, two, three chain into the next space, single, okay? So I've created my loops, my three chain loops for the pineapple, my normal shell in the center, one, two, three chain. Create my normal shell where we have the normal shell. This is where it stays the same. Chain two. Create your normal shell. chain two. We're going to create one shell in here, two double crochet. This is where we have the three groups, two chain, and two more double crochet. One, two chain space, and create your next shell on the other space, on the other stitch. Two double crochet, two chain, and two more double crochet. We have to do exactly the same thing on this side. Chain two, create your normal shell. And we're going to repeat what we just finished doing on this side of the pattern. Okay, so where we have the normal shell, normal shell, your three chain and your loops, and we continue on. So I'll meet you at the end of this row 10. Okay, everyone, so we finished row 10, going into row 11. Now there were some questions on this row 11. So for some of you that are having a hard time, pay attention. So I'm walking in with a slip stitch. I'm doing my normal shell to double crochet, two chain, and two more double crochet. One, two, three chain coming in, doing single, one, two, three chain. Continue your loops. So I've done my loops for the pineapple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine loops on this row 11. Two, uh, three chains, sorry. Some of you, you can do a two chain if you're too loose. Okay, I think on the other tutorial I did two, I'm not sure. It depends on my days of my tension. Normal shell. Not every day we have the same tension, people. That's another thing. One, two, three, and create your loops again. Two, three, okay, so I'll meet you at the end of this one. Okay, so I finished doing my loops for my pineapple. One, two, and three. Coming in on my first one here, I'm doing normal shell, two chain, and two more double crochet. One, two chain, coming into the second shell, 
I'm going to start to close in the sides because then we're working only on each uh, side of the pineapples. So I have my two double crochets. One, two, three. Coming in the first loops here and I'm going to close it. I think on the other one I've closed it with single, but this time I'm going to close it with slip stitch. One, two, three. Coming still on the same first one I closed in the other one with slip stitch. One, two, three. And again on the same one, closing in with slip stitch. Just so my pattern can close properly here on this shell. I don't want a big gap. On the other one, there's a little gap. And then you continue with the two double crochet. One, two, do the same thing on this one here. Two double crochet, one, two, three chain, coming in, closing with slip stitch. My peacots, one, two, three chain, coming back into the first one and closing it again. One, two, three chain, back into the first one and closing it again. And continue to do my two double crochets for my shell. One, two chain. I'm going to come in the center of this two chain space we did with a single one, two chain. Continue to create your two double crochets and your peacocks exactly like here. One, two, three. Come in on that first one. Slip stitch. One, two, three. Again. Slip stitch, one, two, three, and again, slip stitch. And then do your two double crochets. Okay. So we have one more to do here. We'll have four of them. We don't do this one. This belongs to the pineapple. Pineapples have to go like this to close in. And we have to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Chain two, create your two double crochets. One, two, three. Slip stitch, one, two, three. Into the first one. Slip stitch, one, two, three. You can close it with single if you like and two double crochets. So now we have closed this side basically and now we're going to be working from here on and then once we finish we'll be working the other side exactly the same thing as that side. So we're going to do our normal shell. One, two, chain, come in, normal shell. And repeat exactly what we did on the other side. One, two, three. Come into the loop. One, two, three, chain, single. One, two, three, chain, single. One, two, three, chain, single. So we're going to do that all the way to the end. We're going to repeat exactly what we did here, right? And then your normal shell on the center over here, and then your loops of three chain, and we have to repeat one normal shell and then close up. Picot, 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 and picot. We already have one, the first one we created, so we don't need to do anything we're just going to continue to work the pattern from here on and then come back to this side and finish it up okay one two three single one two three chain single one two three chain single okay so I'll meet you at the end we're just repeating don't forget this one here is a normal shell 
and then do your, your pineapple. Normal shell, exactly how we have here. We only have four peacocks here, groups to do, okay? Okay, everyone, going into row 12. Slip stitch, going to the center, create your normal shell. Two double crochet, two chain, and two more double crochet. One, two, three. Create your pineapple loops. One, two, three, chain, single. And I'll meet you here at the end of the loops of the first pineapple. So on this row 12, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight loops of the pineapple. One, two, three. Create your normal shell. Actually, on this center, we're going to have three groups of two double crochet. So here's my second group, two chain, and my third group, because we need the pineapples to split up, going this way and going that way. Okay, and we'll be doing, once we finish doing this side, we have to create the same thing on the other side. Chain three, create your loops for the pineapples, the second pineapple. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of this one. So I've created my second pineapple loops. One, two, three, chain, and create a normal shell. Now, we're going to be working back and forth on this side. And then once we finish this side, we cut our thread, and we're going to work on the other side. So this is going to be like that. It's going to, both going to go in. So we're going to turn around. We're going to do the walk to the center of this shell. Single to chain is my first double crochet. So I'm creating my normal shell. This will stay the same until the end of the pattern on both sides, this side, the other side, and also on here. Chain three, create your loops. And I'll meet you at the center here. So I finished the loops on my pineapple. I did my three chain. I'm going to create a normal shell here where we have the three groups between the both pineapples. Two double crochet, two chain, two more double crochet. Chain two. If your tension's loose, you can do a chain one only. And I'm going to create my second group or my second shell, normal shell here on the other, on the other loop where we have the three groups. Okay. One, two, three. Create your pineapple loops of three chain, single, and then three chain. We're doing the shell. We're going to do the walk as I call it with a slip stitch and create a shell, chain three. This always stays the same until um, we, we do the last one loop left. We're going to create the three chain shells and then I'll meet you back here again because it's just a repeat now, okay? Okay, so did my, my chain for the pineapple, did my three chain, my shell, Turned around, did the walk into the center, did my shell, my three chains, my loops. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not even going to bother counting rows because now it's just, you know, different count uh, for these ones. Okay. Did my first shell on the first loop here. One, two. So chain two coming in and I'm going to create three groups again in the center of this 
that space here of the two chain. So I'm on to my second group, two chain, and my third group of two double crochet. So I have three. Chain two, create your normal shell. And do your three chain loops for the pineapple. Again, we're going to repeat the same thing. Turn around, do the chains for the pineapple, and I'll meet you here on the other side. Okay. Okay, so I've turned around, did my loops. One, two, three, four, five loops, three chains, my normal shell. I'm going to do two chain, one, two, coming into the first space here, create my normal shell. Two chain, and on the second one, another normal shell, because on the next, um, on the other side, when we come around, we're going to create the triples for the third pineapple there. Chain two, and again, normal shell. And again, two double crochet and create your three chains for your pineapple. So we'll meet around again on this side when we get here, when you turn around. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five loops. You gotta make sure you have your five loops, okay? Okay, everyone, so I've turned around, I've done my loops. So we'll have four loops. Did my normal shell, <clears throat> two chain, coming in again, doing my normal shell. Two chain and I'm going to create my 12 triples in here in the center of the two groups. This will be the pointy pineapple. Okay, so create your 12 triples. So I've done my 12 triples, chain two and create your normal shell. Now, if your tension is too loose, you can do a one chain. Because I know it's a little bit tight in there, so it can look a little bit weird. But once we go, it will straighten out. Chain two. Create a normal shell. And then your three chains for the pineapple. And then we'll just continue, and then I'll meet you here on the other side. So this is what it looks like. Shell, two chain, shell, two chain, 13, uh, 12 triples, sorry. Two chain, shell, two chain, shell, three chain loops for the pineapples. Okay, everyone, so I've turned around. I have three loops left. <clears throat> Created my normal shell two chain coming in my first shell here or my second I should say one two create your normal shell we're going to repeat the same thing as we did with the first pineapples with the third uh, 12 I don't know why I keep saying 13 one two chain coming into the first triple triple one chain space Create your 12 triples again, one chain space. Okay, 
and then to chain shell, to chain shell, and then continue with your loops to the pineapples, okay? So I'll meet you over on the other side because now it's just a repeat. Okay. Okay, everyone, so we have two loops created my normal. So it's just a repeat now. Two chain and your normal shell. Next row will be a repeat of these um, shells and two chain. Now we're going to go in, create our one, two, three loops for the pineapples in between the triples like we did on the first uh, pineapples. One, two, three. So it's just a repeat now. I'm gonna do the same thing on here. Shell, two chain, shell, three chain and the loops. Next row is the same thing. You should have uh, one loop left. So I'm going to uh, meet you at the end of the next row because it's just a repeat, okay? Okay, everyone, so I've done my other row exactly the same. So we have three rows the same way. Actually, all these rows are the same way. Okay, and then I've turned around. Here we're doing four chains. So I have just restart that again. There's one loop left. If we count from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows from here. Okay, not the ones counting here. Okay. So basically we did eight, nine, ten. Can't remember. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we did up until row eleven, and then row twelve started to be on its own back and forth. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four chain. Come into your last loop on the pineapple. One, two, three, four chain. And just repeat the same thing as we've been doing normal shell. Your two chain, normal shell. And three chain for the pineapple okay and then it will be the same thing here we're repeating exactly the same thing just normal shell two chain only three chains for the pineapples all right okay everyone so I've turned around did my single my two chain going to create my shell, two double crochet, two chain, two more double crochet. I'm going to come in directly into the next one because we're closing out the first pineapples that we did. Creating normal shell again and doing one, two chain. Doing your shell. Okay, one, two, three. And continue your pineapples, or pineapple, I should say, and do the same thing, your shell, 
your three chain your shell two chain shell and then go directly into the next one we're going to turn around create another shell but i'll meet you on the other side okay everyone so i pretty much did this side too okay turn around create your normal shell so slip stitch into the center now this time we're going to close out uh, these two shells with peacocks okay so do your two one two three go on your first one one two three and back into the same one one two three close out your peacocks with slip stitch or you can close out with single it's up to you i'm closing them out with slip stitch so we have the first one then coming into the second one and repeat the same thing do your two double crochets one two three chain peacock one two three chain peacock one, two, three chain, peacock. Again, complete your, your shell. Okay. One, two chain. And do your normal shell. and your three chain for the pineapple when you get to the end you will have to do the same thing here exactly what we just finished doing so we can close out these two pineapples and we're just going to continue to work on the last one up top okay you guys so i finished my last two i'm going to cut my thread And I'm going to do the slip stitch knot, which I did. Turn around. You want to make sure that you're always following the same pattern, going back and forth. I'm going to come in my shell here, create my shell. One, two, three. One, two, three. So basically, you're just going to be working on this pineapple up until here, of course, and then back and forth. Okay. And then I'll meet you when we have, uh, when we finish to, co to complete one left. Okay. Exactly how we did here. So once we finish to complete one left, I'll come back to you on that. So it's just a repeat shell and three chains all the way until your last loop. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much did all the way to my last loop. Turned around, did my shell. I'm going to do one, two, three, four chain exactly how we had done with the other ones. One, two, three, and four and create your shell turn around going to the center create your shell again because we need to close out this pineapple which is the last one of course so I've created my shell and I'm going to come in directly exactly how we did with this one here. So we're just closing it out now. Two chain, two more double crochet. Turn around. Going to the center again, but do your 
slip stitch your walk create your shell your two double crochets one two three chain slip stitch one two three chain one two three chain always into the first one Why is it every time we're getting to the end, we always seem to have an issue with the stitches? I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but it happens to me quite often. I don't know. So again, coming in directly and do again your peacots. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so pretty much finished doing. Now, you have to go exactly over to the other side and do exactly the same thing. So you would have to start your shells and continue and repeat everything we just finished doing on this side. You can use markers and follow through your rows or you can just rewind the video and follow through exactly what we just finished doing. I want to thank every single one of you. I hope this video helped some of your questions that some of you have made comments on. And I'm sure the video should be full screen at this point so you can see better the stitch. And you can also hit your screen and it gives you a, a zoom in. That's another trick to if you're using especially a tablet, you can hit on your tablet like tap twice and it zooms in to uh, the stitching and so on okay so thank you everyone please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video i will see you on the next one take care of yourselves and each other i send you much love and much hugs bye bye until next time mm -hmm.